This playthrough is rated T for teen. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Waldo, we're back here with another episode of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. In the last episode, we brought a stowaway back to our family, and we also talked to our companions and learned just a little bit about all of them. And we heard a funny story from an old man who we just just despised because of the fact. And I'm sorry, that that's just... <laughs> I mean, it's not a dark side option because of the what you say, but it's just funny as all hell, as all heck to uh, hear Julie's response to you being a dick to him. Anyway, uh, let's go on with the story. Now, I could show you the swoop registration. Basically, the swoop registration is basically the swoop races from Terrace. So if you want to learn a, a little, earn a little extra money, you could do swoop races here, uh, which I suggest to do just to get a bit of extra dough. I'm not going to do it for now. I might, like, uh, later on maybe show the swoop races after maybe I finish the plot here. Because uh, it has been a couple episodes of me ignoring plot for the most part and... Uh, and doing just like kind of back uh, stuff as well. Uh, let's see, what's the game? I think the game wants us to go basically to uh, to the desert now. To we also need to find uh, missions, brother. Can I swap out dudes right now, or do I have to? Okay, I might do that before I move. I might put mission in my group, even though that'll that will make the combat a bit more difficult. Uh, We'll see how I'm feeling at the at the time, but let's check in with the canteen to see if there's anything we need to learn about before we go, like a side quest we can unlock or whatever. Because uh, after that, it's pretty much us just leaving uh, Anchorhead, and and uh, we are in Anchorhead, right? Not most most Ela, are we? Most now I forgot. I think we're in Anchorhead. Anyway, yeah, I haven't. I didn't go to the uh, canteen yet to talk to people just to see like kind of what's going on, just. Yeah, let's just uh, see what uh, people have to say. To worry about with my mining quotas, I don't... Something you want, Spacer. Go talk to the office if you want to complain about conditions here. I don't want to hear it. Seems like every other person I meet is complaining about something. Well, it's not going to get better, so leave me alone. I'm surprised this game gave us actually let you let us talk to this random individual. Uh, I just want to ask uh, you a few questions if you have the time. I don't really have any interest in helping you. Will this be quick? Uh, not much of a spokesman for Circuit Corporation. Like I said before, I don't much care what you think. I'll be on the street if business keeps dropping, and it will. Uh, <laughs> if you have anything useful, I'll get tired of you. All right then, mate. Uh, I'm looking for something. Who knows this plan best? Nobody we brought, that's for sure. Our expert said this rock was supposed to have mining potential to last for years. Nothing but garbage or good for nothing. You ever try to sell someone garbage? My name's Mud in three systems now. Hmm. I had to leave. Goodbye. Good. I'm a All right. Well, that didn't that didn't really go as much, did it? Would you, why would you bother me? We of Jawa are disease. Yours do not care for ours. Do you miss we that we are taken? No. God, this guy is a weird type of conversation. Uh, uh, we are taken. Are some of your people missing? This is interesting. Not from your kind, though. Is these things otherwise? Speak to him if you're acting and pretending. Query: Is the miniature organic implying falsehood? Shall I blast it, master? Joe was our time to giant speak. Might as well slave to the gaffy. So you trade. Was it no help is given? I just love like like I said. Every once in a while, HK will just quip on about murdering people. I don't know why I find it funny. Well, uh, what can Gandraff do for you? It's been a while since I've had anyone bother talking to me. Usually, it's some kid wondering what my old racing days were like. When I was back on Terrace. It seems like. That. I'm glad you're not on Terrace anymore. Now it's a now it's a sand pile. Uh, I don't care for your flayed glory. I'm not here for story time. Uh. Man, there's a couple of dick options there. Uh, I just want to ask a few questions if you have the time. I'm not sure what I have that you would be interested in. I'm, 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 I'm just an old swoop jock that doesn't have the head for it anymore. <laughs> he must tie into the swoop little mini, little side quest. There is sort of a side quest with the swoop races for the most part, but it's pretty straightforward. I want to ask about you and racing. Ah, something I know. Well, well, something I used to know. Um, my racing days are behind me. Gandroff is the name. How, uh, is this the best place for racing? Best place to race is wherever the track treats you sweet and your times are golden. It's that simple. 
You get hung up on any one track, and, and he'll end up like me. <laughs> My favorite stop was Taris. Uh, Taris. Uh, always look forward to going back. Now, now, I don't want to touch my bike at all. Uh, maybe, maybe I wasn't in the winter circle lately, but I <laughs> still race for sport, you know. And yeah, talk about uh, talk about being in, in an old time, you know. What makes Terrace any different from here? A woman. Well, I never won on Terrace, but it was almost my first stop on the circuit, and the last if I could help it. That doesn't matter now. You can't ask for more certain closure than the whole planet being gone. <laughs> Poof, boom. <laughs> Gone. Oh, he already knew about that, huh? How long did you race? Oh, well, past my prime by any measure. I started late, too. Not like the kids out there now. Some of them are too young. Why do you think that? It's a cutthroat business. I, I, I've seen some of them burn out after a year. They get dangerous and don't live long. That's not everyone, of course, but, but it happens. I'm a husband, I'll admit, but, but dying while you're on top is still dying. I'll pass. Uh, what can you tell me about the other racers? I don't, I don't really talk to any of them. I, I, I know Zara's from the circuit, and, and we couldn't ask for a tougher lady. <laughs> She's uh, smart, too. I, 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 don't, I don't know the younger guys, but, but I've been watching Nico. Uh, good to see someone doing it for the love of the race. What makes him different from the others? I don't know, but, 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 but some people just, just have something that lets the bike take them. It, it's like the air stops pushing back. That's an old track, too, you know, when, 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 when the wind decides to stop fighting. I, I used to have that. <laughs> Not anymore. I'm well, sorry about your lost glory, Ricky Bobby. I mean... <laughs> All right. Um, I'm looking for something. Who knows this plant best? Mask me again in a few years, and it'll be me. <laughs> I'm probably not going back out on the circuit. There is one. Yeah, but for now, for now, I, I, I don't know any more than the next guy. But you, you should try the locals. Jow is maybe a funny little guy. Wow, this guy's a little, little loopy. Let's get out of here. Uh, keep safe. Yep, yep. Seems like tough times are coming. Looks like we need to talk to that. Maybe that Z's Jow we need to talk to if we want to learn more about like where we need to go. Well, a fresh face for the game. I wonder, would you care to play? My name is Furco Nellis. My vice is Pazak. Ah, we found the Pazak player for this planet. Excellent. Uh, I'll be going now. I'll talk to you later when I want to earn some credits. I think he charges 120 credits per hand, if I remember correctly. Uh, but we'll ask him some questions before that. Ah, I'm sure you do, but I won't have answers. I leave other people to their business, and they leave me to mine. Really, you'll have to seek information elsewhere, but if you want some recreation, I I've cards ready to play. I'm trying to remember that voice actor's name, uh, but anyway, uh, you must have some opinion what happened on Terrace. I don't must know why I? we'd ask him that, but okay. An opinion would draw attention to myself. The Sith have shown what happens to things that draw their attention. Uh, I guess you make a point. See you later. All right, but remember that there isn't much fun on Tatooine that isn't life-threatening. Come back if you like a game. Yeah, I think it's 120 credits per hand with this dude if you want to earn some extra money. Uh, I can't talk to those guys. Wait, how's it unintelligible? We've got a we got a translator, you know. Yeah, whatever, it's not that big a deal. Okay, so we can talk to the bar, keep. Anyone else around here we can talk to? Nope, we can't even. I doubt the authorian has anything to say. Yeah, I didn't think so. All right, let's see what the, the guard keep says. Huh? Who are you then? Only new pe people that come to Junik Nard's Cantina are long-time losers and bounty hunters. I don't have to tell you why the two don't mix well. Please keep any blaster fire to a minimum. Uh, and in 300 years, or not 3,000 years old time, you'll have a Jedi cutting off someone's hand in the bar, thinking the Jedi have passed away from this world. Uh, anything out of the ordinary happen? You suppose you're fishing for a reaction to the destruction of Taurus. I saw all anyone from off-world was talking about. Well, I'll tell you, it's about time someone kicked the Republic in the tail and got things moving. I guess the Sith are the ones that do it. Don't get me wrong, all those deaths were horrible. When war gets the money moving, maybe they'll decide to fortify us out here. Oh, that's all you care about. You know anything more local? No. Uh, no you don't know, or no you won't tell me? Just no. 
I don't look for trouble. You'll have to talk to people yourself if you want more than that. Now, uh, if you don't mind. Hmm. All right. All right then. Just keep it brief, will you? I got customers. Let's see. Uh, what things about Tatooine? What did some Zerka promoter tell you to come to this planet? I pity you if you were expecting a prosperous mining outpost. Nothing here but sand and more sand. There's a little hunting and racing, but nothing that'll make a small man rich. Hmm. Well, I'll, I'll ask you about hunting. You got a license there, don't you? Faz's lodge will be open to you now. Nothing more I can tell you about hunting than his lot won't. And since you got that license from Zerka, you know they look for bounties of their own. They're the ones with credits to pay and interest to protect. Okay. All right then. So that's going about racing, I guess. I've already gone. Wait. Wh oh, okay. I've already gone over that stuff with you. Couldn't you ask someone else? I got, I'm not one of those bar those listening bartenders. Gotcha. I don't deal with any of that. Mata the Hut has a lock on everything race related on Tatooine. You deal with him, or you don't race. Hmm. All right. Uh, All let's right, see. Then. Let me ask if he's got anything for sale. Zerka Corporation can only worries about keeping their own stores full. I don't have much on hand. Probably not much. Probably the yeah, standard uh, s uh, packs and stuff like, or health packs and stuff like that. Still buy the poison to kill the Gizka if we want. I uh, don't need a hair trigger. I need that, um, I forgot what it's called. It looks like a block. I'm looking for one of those so I can uh, upgrade uh, HK's weapon so he can actually use a different... Ready. Let me, it's like, let me get out of here. All right, nothing else here. Actually, now that he makes a point, I do kind of need to go to the hunting lodge, see if I can grab any side quests, because uh, as soon as we leave, uh, as soon as we leave this place, uh, we're going to be basically in the ex exploration part of the world. And we want to kind of get unlock as many side quests as we can before we go out there. That way we can kind of get them all down at the same time. So we'll see if there's any hunting jobs available to us. And I forgot, did I sell that plate for that one lady? I don't think I did. I think I, I still need to go do that, if I remember correctly. Yes. So let me go back and take care of that really quick. If I remember correctly, I don't. I didn't. Um, uh, I didn't sell that. Uh, whoops. Oh. Wrong way. <laughs> Got distracted there for a second. Okay, so maybe we won't be leaving Anchorhead immediately. Sorry, folks. Maybe the next episode will have a lot more uh, in the way of uh, um, uh, actual exploration and combat. But that's an RPG for you. Some episodes you're going to have just conversations with NPCs, and others you're going to have just combat. You're so. back. Please, have you sold the plate I gave you? My children and I are counting on the credits. Haven't sold it yet. I'll be right back. Please hurry. The credits are all we have to start again. All right, all right. I'll do it. I'm doing it right now. Now that we got the hunting license from uh, from Zerka, we can now uh, deal with them. You could actually sell the plate before getting a hunter license, and you can convince the uh, hunters to buy it off of you if you have the right persuasion skill. Uh, but now that we have the license, it'll be easier to deal with them. It just saves you a step if you if you go to Zerka to get to get that hunting license from them to, to do their little job. So anyway, let's uh I wanna save again just in case. Since she didn't have anything different to say. Let's talk to the hunters of this place. Since we'll be trying to get some information from them while we go explore this place. Hello, human, are you a hunter like the other hunters there? Not the life for me, but I admire you for it. Uh, what do you do? I fill the days with gears of Zack. Not that there are many people to play with, but a person should get busy somehow. I'd play with that fellow in the Kirtina, but I find him uh, distasteful. He does not play for the same reasons I do. Why do you play? The sport of it. Even if I lose, there's a reward in having played the best of my ability. I don't dwell on the credits taken or given. To most people, the game is simply gambling, but I choose to get more of it than that. I may play or see that my way. So I could play with him, but I don't think there's much in the way of rewards for doing that. Very well, what else do you have to say? Um, can I ask you about this place? Oh, I doubt I can tell you more than the rest of these fellas. I haven't set foot outside Anchorhead, and I don't know what anyone else would want to. Tatooine is a very hospitable place. I'll be going, going as soon as my parts of my ship arrive. It takes some time, though. Um, have you heard any rumors off from off planet? Nothing since the unfortunate business on terrorists. The public is reeling for that, as are we all. He is troubling. But we can't let that call stop to your days. We'll survive worse than we'll again. It's just the way things are. 
I want to ask you about Pizzazz. What do you want to talk about? Would you care for a game? Uh, ah, I guess that's it. Okay. See you later. Safe travels. All right. So we can play him for some uh, Pizzazz as well. Uh, let's see. Who else in here we can talk to? Ooh, Comad Fortuna, huh? Yes. Is there something you wish, human? Information I could, if I could trouble such a worthy hunter for a moment. Spare me the flattery, human. Such talk is rarely sincere. Uh, who are you? What do you do? I am Comad Fortuna, a hunter and member of this lodge. It is not the life for everyone, but I am content. Uh, where's the best hunting? The best hunting is wherever the best hunter is. It's a tried answer, human, but all the only one I can give. It depends on what you seek. Raids are plentiful and are the spoil of the spore hunters. Dragons fear only to the true hunter. Patience is key. Great dragons alone hunt alone, and their prey is wherever you, uh, whatever can catch their attention. So dragons are rare? Are they dangerous? They are both rare and dangerous, and an honor to hunt. If you survive, you are blessed and favored. Respect them. Some try to lessen the risk by mass hunting with battle droids. I'd rather hunt solo, taking the risk as my own. Yeah, that makes more sense, I guess. Who uses battle droids? I will not speak of it while they live. It is their shame to admit it or hide. They know the effect it has. Perhaps they will kill so many raids that they'll also kill the hunt. After that, perhaps the solo hunter will still prosper. Hmm. Sounds about like real hunting and in real life. How long have you been at it? A decade. Two? I don't enslave myself to time, human. There's a day and there's night. You really don't know anymore? Tatooine will not change in my lifetime. Why bother trying to keep up with rolling of the years? Uh, we can tell me about the other hunters. Probably not as much as you would learn speaking to them yourself if they tell you nothing. The most obvious are the Gamorans, however. Gurk and his crew are not the best company. They hunt, but often come back with salvage instead of hides or pearls. I think the prey is walk upright. When the guards have something to say about that? The dunes are far from the reach of their blasters. Besides, Gurk spends his money in company stores. Well, what about the hunters besides the Gamorans? Ah, put simply, Dwarf Quinn is honorable. Tannis Venn is not so much, but I have no real quarrel with him. Hmm. Alright. I, I think that's it for the questions. Uh, I'm looking for something. Who knows this planet best? No one will return your questions. To truly know the dunes, you have to live there, as the sand people do. Only they truly explore the lands, but they attack without debate. If you see them at all... Have you ever seen the same people with anything on? The same people carry nothing but weapons of bloodlust. To them outsiders are invaders to be repelled. Once or twice, however, I've seen them emerge from older ruins with sacks and other containers. I've always been driven off, and if I examine the site later, there's nothing left. What kind of ruins were these? Where were they? They were old storehouses of some kind, but you couldn't find them now, human. Sand covers all. The only ones who know what they are are the same people, and you don't have to take it by force. Finding their camp is easy enough. Walk south until you are attacked. What about the Jawas? Jawas may know the land as well, but are more interested in trading than talking. They scavenge to escape jobs akin to slavery. Their language is difficult. If you can get anything more than the price of a droid out of them, I'll be impressed. Hmm. All right. Well, goodbye. That's a clue. That's basically a clue that you have to encounter the sand people if you want to find that star map. So let's see. You got the Gamorans and Terrace. Uh, is that guy talkable? No. Okay. Actually, before we talk to any more of these guys, let's actually talk to the Faza. I think he's the head of this place, so we can sell that crate skull to get the money for that lady at least. At least get some, uh, at least get a side quest finished, if anything. Well, a new face! Come test your skill on the endless dudes of Tatooine! Paz's Lodge is the place to arrange it. This world may not have much, but it does have the meanest predators this side of the Galactic Rim. Hunter's Paradise. Uh, what are you doing here? This is the Hunting Lodge. I purchased what the sportsmen bring in. It's not a bad little job. Uh... Anything out of the ordinary happen? You mean here at Tatooine, or just in general? Heard about the destruction of terrorists? Don't know anything specific. I'm not surprised something like that it happened. I remember the Exar Coon War and how Sith and the Jedi fought across worlds. Don't have much interest in either group, but act like they have, they're above my concerns. I guess they are. Uh, if if you want to read more about Exar Coon, you can actually, other than this game giving a little side details, there are actually comic books based off off him and and what he did. If, uh, 
I think it's just the old Republic series of comics. Um, do you know anything more local? Ah, oh, Zerka Corporation is always complaining about sand people. I stay out of it. We hunt animals, not people. And I guess the Jawas are being pushed around again. At least that's what I think they said. Tough to tell sometimes. You have to talk to these groups yourself for more. I keep to myself. Um, let's see. Talks a question about hunting. I'll answer what I can, but you've already got yourself a license. You should be out in the dunes. What's there to hunt on Tatooine? Most of our boys combine themselves to a hunting raid. Large fleshy beasts, as tall as a man, or tall man, too. Desert Raid have a large boat plate on their head, and they pay well for it, but that's not where the real boy to hunt is. You probably heard about the big prize, the crate dragon, the most fearsome predator in the system, they say. If you can find one, I doubt you will. I'll buy the stones polished in the gizzard, the dragon pearls. The dragons are rare, then? You'd think they'd be easier to find such a gigantic creature. Comad's father took one down, but that was years ago. Oh, that's the that's the one lady's husband, I believe. What's so special about Comad's father? He's been hunting for years using strict traditional methods. Comad is just like him. Maybe he'll show you a thing or two out in the dunes. Alright, then just keep a breath, will you? Oh, wait, no. Never mind. Comad was that one guy we talked to. I don't know why I thought that was... Right, or uh, no, that was, yeah, it was his father that was traditional, so, okay. I wonder if that means there's a new uh, se uh, extra set of questions to ask him about his father. Hm. Now, I don't know why I thought it was that lady outside. I, I mixed up my names. There's so many weird names in Star Wars, I'm sorry. Oh, wait, uh, hello again. Yeah, have you heard the circus right scared away for Kashik? I bet the local police officer won't say a word about it. Huh. Well, at least that's starting to go off somewhere. I got something to sell you. Oh, I see. That's the biggest desert raid skull plate I've ever seen. See, whoever got that was a skilled hunter. I'll give a preview price on that one. I have a buyer that put in a special request. Does 500 credits sound fair? Yeah, that'll do nicely. I thought it would. Do you have anything else to sell? Nah, we don't have those pearls yet. Uh, do you have anything for sale or trade? Might have something. Wouldn't be much of a lodge if I couldn't keep hunters in stock. I think it's the same thing. Uh, see, advanced medicates. And uh, cement packs, a couple of blasters are too expensive. I mean, I could buy it, but I'm kind of one of those guys that tries to save stuff for like the last second type of thing. Anyway, we got the money for it. We could just, there is a dark side and light side way to finishing this conversation, by the way. You could either just give the lady the money, or you could keep it, or, or you know, different ways about that. Obviously, we're going to do the light side response, but. Uh, let me see if he has anything to ask about his dad. Probably not. <laughs> Will we pay for me not to kill you? What? Uh, that's kind of aggressive. Uh, let's see. Nah, it doesn't look Get like it. Ah, uh, never mind. Ball. That's fine. All right. Uh, let's ask. Let's talk to Gamora and see if they have anything. Yeah. Do I interrupt my drinking? Gurk's got more patience to bother him. I've got nothing to say. Maybe Gurk do, but that's his business. All right. Well, let's talk to Gurk then. <laughs> Ha ha ha! Boys, it's, ta it's talk to me. What you want, huh, Hume? Warning. So? You'll pay attention to the master meatbag or suffer the consequences. <laughs> Ew, are you, mate? As big a force or snort? We're scared now. Yeah, tell him, Gurk. <laughs> oh, I love HK's responses. He's like, he's like a overprotective uh, father figure sometimes when he talks about insults and everything. If, what if I want advice? I'm sure you're very smart. Uh, what if I want advice? I'm sure you're very smart. Whoa. Oh, you trying to get my secrets? I'll oh, bet. Trying to find why I hunt and all that. Yeah, you got nothing. So, can I ask what you do? <coughs> Gunk and his boys hunt. That's what we do and who we are. But we don't train babies like you. Yeah, we hunt the raids best out of everybody. We don't have time to train you or anyone. I'm looking for something. Are you good scouts? Oh, we all bashed among everybody, but not for you. We honors know more than everybody. Yeah, we go on the dunes yourselves. Maybe you tough enough to talk to us. Probably not, though. Yeah, probably not. Best you don't come back. Shut up, stupid. Why don't you let him speak? What, you deaf? Because he's stupid. Talk too much, and you leave us alone now. I'm not stupid. You're stupid. Shut up, stupid. Uh, I guess that's all we're getting about that, probably. Uh, <laughs> watch your tongue, watch your tongue's piggies or I'll rip it up. Uh, I love the fact that you can always do a mean response if you want to. 
Go read a book or get a yappy droid. Girk and his boys don't train babies. Oh, yeah, we got that one already. Um, all right, fine, I'll leave. Yeah, you leave. That's good. Maybe we see you on the dunes. Maybe before you see us. Shh, stupid, shut up. Uh-oh, probably going to run into them again at some point, I bet. All right, Taylor Sven, have anything to say? What can I do for you? Hmm. Did my wife send you? This ain't about credits, is it? I'm just looking for experts. You seem knowledgeable. Oh, of course. Who put you up to this, my wife? I meant what I said about having no credits. I, Dude, you really need to talk to your wife. Apparently you guys have some issues to work out. Uh, I want to ask you about you and hunting. Hunting is a dirty and tough business. What can old Tannis tell you about it? Now, where is the best hunting? There isn't any. Too many hunters, not enough prey. I, I can barely keep expenses covered. Maintenance on battle droids is expensive. Of course, it's better than going alone. What if I stumbled on a bunch of sand people? These solo hunters are crazy. You hunt with battle droids? Is that sporting? What do I care? I need to eat. I also need to pay for parts so the wife can keep the droids running. It's all about the credits. Some guys will talk about honor and stuff, but they still sell their plates to Faza. I guess honor needs creds too. I guess people need to eat. Don't you need to take more kills to keep your droids running? I suppose, but so what? When that resource goes belly up, I'll just move on. I'm just a wandering spirit, I guess. <laughs> Hunting the species to extinction. Now there's a logical way to make a living. I'm not real popular with the others, but they just fool themselves. They're in it for the credits, too. How long have you been at it? Too long, but it beats smuggling. You ever run into a Sith Dreadnought in the desert? No, you haven't. You've crossed paths with a Sith Dreadnought? Hell, I married her. <laughs> no, no, seriously now. I had this friend that crossed Sith space and got stripped of everything. It's not like I have much now, I guess, but I still prefer sand people to getting ambushed on unproven trade routes. You go on about your wife a lot. What's the deal, man? Ah, she doesn't understand me. You know the drill. It's not my fault. She knew who I was when she married me. Huh. Well, I guess that solves that little problem. What can you tell me about the other hunters? Uptight and cold, like my wife. They don't like me streamlining the hunt with droids. I don't fit in, but I don't let it bug me. The Gamorians are different. Good rowdy drinking buddies. Girk and his boys, they understand that hunting is a business. Of course they hunt other things than raid, too. Just don't turn your back on them. Ever. Why do I feel like we're gonna run the Gamorians out in the desert somewhere? What are you suggesting? Nothing. Nothing at all. Just keep your eyes on them, that's all. Hmm. What for the other hunters besides the Gamorians? Well, Dorak is reasonable. Comad is a pain, but he keeps his distance. I can tell he doesn't like me much. Ask around the lodge if you want information about the other guys. I don't really talk to them much. Hmm. I think that might be it. Fine, fine. Well, if, uh, I'm looking for something. Who's the Who knows this planet best? Who knows the planet? I don't know. I guess the same people. I'm usually running when I see them, though. Have you ever seen the people run off with anything on us? Uh, sure. My blood. They almost got me last year. Tore up two of my battle droids. Wife was mad about that. <laughs> Took her weeks to fix. Where they got weapons to cut battle armor, I don't know. They act like animals, but they can surprise you. Wait, your wife fixes your droids? I think she's a lot more useful than what you make her out to be. Where did this happen? I don't know. Take a dune and walk. They'll get you soon enough. No, no, uh, no majestic Lawrence of Olivier type of movie, huh? What about the Jawas? Smart traders. They've salvaged and sold me my own damaged droids once or twice. They don't say much I can understand. I think they're a little slow, but who am I to judge, huh? <laughs> hmm. Well, at least we learned Good some hunt. things about sand people and, and Jawas here. Uh, let's see, I think we've talked to everyone, haven't we? Oh no, we missed uh, Dorak, huh? I don't know how I missed him. Get lost, Tenderfoot. I hunt desert raid. I don't babysit. Oh, come on now. I just want to benefit from your experience. Well, you sure know how to get on my good side. You're just trotting out bantha pats, but thanks all the same. Uh, who are you? What is it you do? My name is Doric Quinn. I'm a hunter. I hunt. Is that enough, or should I start listing my family birthdays? Eh, you make a fair point. Where's the best hunting? If I knew the best 
place, why would I tell anyone? It would be worth too much to me to let it get out. It doesn't matter anyway. This season has been dry for me, as it has for almost everyone. Perhaps someone else is holding out, but there are simply fewer raid out there. Uh, why are there fewer raid? It used to be a one-on-one -on -one, one test. Hunter against hunted. Now people just want the credits. I could stomach maybe a pair or a team of hunters, but some now use battle droids. Where's the sport in that? Yeah, everyone seems to have an issue with that one guy. <laughs> Who uses battle droids, even though we know the answer? That's not for me to say. I won't be a troublemaker in so small a community. You'll see. Hunt, and you will see. How long have you been at this? I've tracked wild beasts my whole life, but I've only been hunting here for five years. I have much to learn yet. Uh, what do you want to learn? There are hunters that go after the big kills, the crate dragons. I don't know how they do it. I never even see the things. Comad is the one I respect, but I also trust that the only difference between us is experience. I will learn. Uh, can you tell anything about the other hunters? I don't go telling stories about other people. You want to know what they think? You go talk to them. Uh, one word, though. Watch yourself around the Gamorians. Girk and his buddies aren't to be trusted. Everyone else I respect because they have skill. Those guys, they go for easier prey. Hmm. He, they hunt the most dangerous form of all. Man. Just watch your back when you hunt. The dragons aren't the only dangers out there. Besides the sand people, the raid dragons, or raid, or raids, uh, the crate dragons, these Gamorians, whatever. Uh, let's see, I think that's it. If that's what you want. Because you can't... Oh, well, you could ask him about the planet, too. You'll have to ask around. Comad Fortuna is a much more experienced hunter than I am. He hunts far from Anchorhead. The local Jawas are a good source of information, even if it is hard to understand them. It may cost you, though. All right. You said you're a hunter. I want to ask about that. Again? Oh, is that the... Okay, and then he just says, why did you ask me if about that again? You... Okay, let's uh, get out of here. Good hunting. All right, man, we spent way too much time talking to these hunters. Uh, let's, uh, let's finish this episode out. Uh, with uh, giving that lady the money for the, the quest, and then we'll call it there. Man, I'm sorry about spending so much time at Tatooine. I, I swear next episode we'll actually, like, go out into Anchorhead and actually try to find the star map of Tatooine. So, like I said, I'm fine with this type of, like, gameplay and everything, but I understand it's not everyone's cup of tea. It's almost better just to play these games yourself to just kind of experience and then watching someone else play, but, uh, yeah, that's just how it is. Like I said, I, I just like, this is kind of how I like spending my time. So I understand that people don't like RPGs because it maybe takes them too long to get to the point, but uh, I enjoy them. But to each his own. Anyway, oh, I, usually she automatically talks to you when you uh, pop up out of the uh, thing, but we'll go and talk to her now. All right, let's, uh, let's give the best response for this, You're shall we? back. Please, have you sold the plate I gave you? My children and I are counting on the credits. Basically, you could basically just ignore and say, I haven't sold it, and you walk away, and you keep the money. That's pretty much it. Uh, yes, I've sold the plate. You have? Did Faza give you a good price? How much did you get for us? Uh, because I think if I remember correctly, she said she only wanted like 100 for it. So basically, the responses indicate how much you want, how many dark or light side points about it, and how many credits you want from it. So... You could say, you know, you got 200, so you still get a benefit, so so you technically still, it's plus plus because, you know, you're getting money and she's getting money out of it. Uh, you could say full value, give her 500. Uh, uh, you could also say it wasn't worth much at all, and give her whatever, that's more dark side-y. Uh, I got a good price, you get nothing. Basically, the two bottom are the dark side options to tell her, but... Uh, uh, but anyway, the best option is to pay her uh, pay her more than what you got for it. Sorry, I was I was misreading the information. Basically, you give her more than what he was going to give us for it. So that's the best answer. You give her 700 credits, and that'll give you uh, more experience and light side points for that. 700 credits. Oh, thank you. It is more than generous of you. I don't know what to say. I, I just don't. <sighs> And how many more like you are there out there with no one to buy their plates, I wonder? 
For whatever it means, may the Force be with you. You saved us. And obviously, each character, a lot of other characters have different responses to that. Uh, but because Julie's a dark, a uh, middle of the ground type of guy, he's he's not too keen on you just giving people like extra handouts, you know. But he's not against being cruel either, so it's kind of a interesting thing there. But yeah, that's the best response you can give if you're doing light side points. If you want the most dark side points, if you want to be abrupt about, it, you tell her that I got a good deal and she didn't. Or if you want to be or if you want to be sneaky dark side, you just say, yeah, I didn't get hardly anything for it. But Oh, well, anyway, we talked to the hunters, learned about hunting. We also uh, helped a poor lady out, and hopefully she'll be able to survive uh, and help her kid and help raise her kid without their dad. Uh, who knows, but we'll never find out the true answer to that. But on the next episode of Star Wars Knights of the Republic, we'll finally explore the lands of Tatooine outside of Anchorhead. I promise this time. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. And may the Force be with you.